in Pleistocene Australia, near Lake Calibana, the giant short-faced kangaroo played a crucial role in grazing and browsing that influenced local plant communities. A common misconception is that all kangaroos are built like today's hoppers. However, Procoptodon was designed differently, featuring a massive body, a short face, and limbs adapted for efficient movement across open plains and woodland fringes. The Lake Calibana region experienced significant fluctuations, alternating between wet phases that fostered lush growth and dry phases that squeezed resources into narrow corridors. During wetter periods, Procoptodon could access high shrubs and low branches, effectively reducing dense woody overgrowth and maintaining open areas. In drier times, it likely followed established routes between water sources and the most promising forage pockets, eating whatever persisted and creating feeding lanes that other animals could recognize and use. Its short face and unique jaw structure indicate the ability for strong, biting, and efficient processing of tough vegetation, which is essential in the gritty Australian environment where grit and silica wear down teeth. A large herbivore capable of digesting coarse plants unlocks calories that other species may struggle to utilize, becoming a vital player in the ecosystem. By removing shrubs in one area, grasses can rebound, and targeted browsing along edges encourages new growth patterns. While predation risks were present, the substantial size of adult Procoptodon often deterred casual attacks. The greater threat lay in environmental stability, water loss, and rapid landscape shifts. With climate changes and increasing human pressures, these large specialized herbivores face diminishing margins. A lawnmower can manage an ecosystem, but only if it is supported by reliable water and regrowth cycles. Visualize a rare green year following a drought, where saltbush flushes with new growth. A tall kangaroo browses methodically, leaving behind clipped stems and dung that seeds and fertilizes the land. This scene is not just backdrop. It represents how a large herbivore shapes the future of the ecosystem. Thank you for exploring Pleistocene Australia with us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on which ecosystem engineer you'd like us to feature next.